Well, it's Agnes coming to you again with three coffee filters. I do not know if I showed that to you project yet, but you know what? Let's just see. So I do have a three coffee filters uh, colored in a fizz water that I'm going to treat differently. As you can see is the first one. I just fold it twice and a half and I'm just simply rounding off each of the edges. Okay, here I go to a second one. I'm going to fold it once and twice until I'm going to get to, um, you know, that little bit smaller of a triangle. And again, I'm going to round it off just the edges. And I do like them sort of like a square round edges. So now I'm going for the third one and I'm just going to leave it like that. But now check this out. I'm going to put it all my templates right on the top of each other. And now I'm going to take my scissors and cut the bottom of it on an angle too because we are going to be making flowers so let's see if we can make it so now i have three shapes one attached one with more humps and one with only four that's it so now we need to cut every single one of them right on the corner so just sort of open them up and let's try to make a rose or something similar to it so i'm going to start with the uh, the one that i did not do anything to it <clears throat> edgewise and I'm just going to roll it. Told you this is super easy. All what you do is just keep on rolling and it really, ideally you let the coffee filter uh, create its own center. Roll it on the angle, you can roll it straight, you can roll loose, whatever you like. So here we go, I secured it with the hot glue and it's all done. So now we are going to another one that has a lot of those little scallops. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to slightly curl the coffee filter edges. Just be careful, you know, you do not want to rip this. Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit of the hot glue to it and I'm going to roll. So the first row, I usually go with whatever comes up. But when it comes to the second one, as you keep on rolling, I like to make the pleats here and there. So those petals are, you know, interlocking sort of. So they, they don't look like they are right next to each other in the same profile. And of course, securing it with the hot glue. And I've got myself a third row, a second row. Here goes the third one again starting with the hot glue and of course i forgot to curl it so i'm going to slightly curl this up not as much as i did the first one because we're doing the full blown uh, row so now i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to pleat here and there just to add a little bit of a dimension and i'm going to secure it with the hot glue and the rose is done how pretty is this don't you love it okay so now i made a lot of them not going i did not hold you through all this whole process but i decided to fold my paper towel in whatever little cube you could use anything for it if you do have a small styrofoam ball you could do that too so now all what i'm going to do is <clears throat> install my uh, back of my rose with a lot of the hot glue right to my uh, paper towels yeah, I mean, not always we have a styrofoam ball um, sitting around. Look how easy that looks. And we're creating a little cluster of roses. It's actually a perfect time to make sure that all those roses are glued nicely together. And it seems they are glued together. So now I do have the Dollar Tree crystal stand, sort of. I'm going to add um, a lot of the, uh, the hot glue to it. And I'm going to just simply stick the leftover piece out of my junk box of some kind of a leaf. Because, yeah, the, the, the green is actually super nice. So I'm going to, again, add a lot of glue to the base and a lot of glue to the bottom of my roses. And I'm going to just stick it in there. And oh, look how pretty. Love it. It's like a typical home goods um, thing. And I'm going to later spray them so they look more waxy. But for now, I'm just going to leave them and let them, you know, to shape them. So now as I was thinking, you know, maybe I should add some greens to it. So I brought more leaves from my junk um, um, box and I'm thinking do I add them there no I do not really like them wish I had more of those big leaves but you know what you always can try so let me see what else can I can find and you know what I did find my green moss and I actually feel the green moss without not being glued just sticking between the roses makes it a little bit better maybe a little bit of a raffia yeah so I'm just going to add the moss for now and we're going to be again observing 
I absolutely love the feel of that little, um, um, I don't know, know if this is the um, um, topiary, mini topiary. Love it, love it, love it. So let's see the pictures. So here it goes. Here's the roses on all different angles and I will be trying to make the pictures of all of them, you know, all around for you to see. But I absolutely love the way my little bouquet looks like. And then it's either, you can put it on your coffee table, you can put it in your bathroom. I mean, in the vanity. I mean, there are so many ways of um, styling with those little bouquets. So I hope that I inspired you to take some coffee filters and create a nice, nice bouquet for yourself. Again, thanks for watching and if you did enjoy please don't forget to sprinkle bye